Rise, dark girls. I can remember being in the bathtub asking my mom to put bleach in the water so that my skin would be lighter. If we're all just hanging around and, and a dark-skinned girl will pass by, they'll be, oh, well, she's pretty for a dark-skinned girl. Or, and I'm like, well, what is that supposed to mean? I think I remember most saying that, you know, if I, if I had a little girl, I just, I didn't want her to be dark. This is not a phenomenon. It's just a reality in the black culture. I mean, you know, dark skinned women, I don't, I don't really like dark skinned women. Like, they look funny beside me. The impact that it has on those young children spiritually is that they actually start to devalue themselves in such a way where the spirit begins to shrink. The consequences of not dealing with this issue is that we lay the foundation for future generations of black women to deal with the madness. It becomes the norm for how we see ourselves. One of the most popular products in the third world is skin whitening cream, which gives us a little bit of an idea of how people's perceptions of themselves. I mean, we're talking here about regions of the world where the overwhelming majority are not white. We have a need for each other a need for someone to show us, to lead us through example. I think it's dangerous to not question things. We need to become the architects of our own self-image. You are the keeper of your own soul.